Good morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm your host, Jessica Williams. Thank you for joining me today. We have a jammed packed show, so we're going to keep it brief on the motivation. Here's the quote. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear a hardship today. It's sweet and simple. We all have bad days and wish for a redo. So if your day is not going as planned, just brush it off and know it will soon be over and focus on all the things tomorrow will bring. Now on to the show. First up, we are joined by the City Moms, and they share the top baby products of 2024. Then I speak with Lassus and learn how they are partnering with the Fort Wayne Zoo. And later, it's Money Monday, and we are continuing our conversation about fixed income annuities with Foster Financial. Are you ready? Let's get started. Fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. The City Moms is a lifestyle blog that offers tips, advice, and hacks for moms around the world. And today, Janine Bobemeyer is here to share all about the best new baby products of the year. Hello, Janine. Hi there. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, so I'm so happy to have you back. Me I too. know that there's so much happening right now yes. with the spring, with products, and so much advice to give our viewers. So what did you bring today? I brought all of the best new baby products. Well, not all of them. There's definitely <laughs> right. a lot, but a good sampling of the best new baby products for 2024. Mm -hmm. And we're starting first with this new product line by Buttle Skincare. Ooh. So this is the first of its kind. It is not only a diaper rash treatment system, uh -huh. but the first prevention system out there for parents. Yeah. So a lot of parents... You know, there are some parents that deal with like colic and some that deal with acid reflux, yeah. but every parent has to deal with diaper rash at some point. Yeah. So this is tremendous. This is also by the makers of Blue Lizard Skin Care. So a lot of, oh. I know a lot of families will be familiar with that name, mm -hmm. um, but it's coming with three different elements that are part of the system. And I'm loving the logo on this. I don't know if you noticed, yeah. but just kind of little, little buns. Yeah. Yeah. A little peach right there, but this is their Clean Cheeks Foam Cleanser. So mm. you'll start every diaper change with that. Mm -hmm. And then dependent if you are doing a treatment or trying to prevent, they have different paste options too. So okay. and what do we have next? So next we're kind of talking about when baby is getting sick because it's bound to happen. Yeah. This first product that you're looking at here, this is a hospital grade nasal aspirator. Wow. It's by Dr. Knows Best mm -hmm. and it's called their NoseBot. So mm -hmm. the inventor of this is not only a pediatric ENT, but also a mom. Okay. So I think she was like, hey, we need something like and this. And so what does it do exactly? So it's a nasal aspirator when baby gets super stuffed up and mm -hmm. stuffy, it's going to be able to kind of pull all of that goo out of their, oh, out of their sinus system. Is it kind system. of like the booger snatcher? Exactly. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's a machine now. Wonderful. And again, since it's a hospital grade, this is going to work very quickly for kiddos. Yes. Um, especially helpful if you think about in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. babies kind of wake up and can be all congested. That's going to be a real yeah. game changer. And then from Tylenol, we have this digital oh. ear smart check. So okay, this is actually wow. used with your smartphone. Mm -hmm. And what this does is the scope can video inside a baby's ear canal. Oh, wow. This is really going to be beneficial during those seasons of ear infections. Mm -hmm. You can text or you can email a video of their ear, their ear canal to your pediatrician and have them diagnosed either via telehealth or maybe a phone, that phone conversation. That is amazing. Yes. Wow. Just yeah, so Technology good for is anyone six months and up, which is wild. amazing. That is such a cool device yeah, by we're, Tylenol. Okay, we're loving that, and then, and I feel like because it's a scope, you can probably kind of look up everywhere. I know. I mean, it's <laughs> just it's to make sure. Absolutely amazing, and I think it really helps save that appointment that you might need from a pediatrician. Yes. So, so kind true. of help cut some time in half. Aww. And then we're looking at these it cute is. clothing by so Dear Hayden. Cute. One of the things we are loving about this is all of their buttons are actually magnetic snaps. <gasps> oh, wow. So it makes it super easy oh, to get your so, kiddo dressed. I love that. I know this I is I don't a, even have any kids, but this would be <laughs> amazing. I, that's what we said to them. We're like, can we have can some we have adult some? size? Yeah, just yeah. snap, snap, and go. Yeah, so these so are really smart. sweet. All sizes are available at Dear Hayden. Um, this is a brand that's out of Illinois. Uh -huh. So really, really cute things there. 
Yeah, and colors. I love the colors too. I do too. Just that I know it. Light pale. And then we're kind of starting to talk a little bit about on the go. So okay. I brought Tush Baby back with yes. me. I know that we've shown this one off here, before. Step right here. Yeah, yeah. Let me show that off a little. So let this is see. a hip carrier that uh -huh. you'd actually place baby on. Okay. And it really helps to spell that weight from mm -hmm. your shoulders. Instead, it's putting that around your hips. Yeah. And then new from Tush Baby so cool. for the year is their snug attachment. So this oh. actually goes right over the top of baby. It's made out of cotton, so it's going to be really breathable, oh. but just helps keep them secure into, yeah. into your body while you're carrying them around. So it kind of works as a blanket of sorts? It's kind Let's of, it's, it's an actual attachment. So this will, okay. so, so what, baby's here. The baby is here, then you'll then clip you this. Kinda, you're gonna clip this oh, around yourself. Oh, around you. Yeah. Wow. So it just helps keep baby secure, secure in there. Yeah, because exactly. <laughs> you know, because this little Little open part is like yeah you you have it as support but you really have right. to make sure the baby is fully supported yes. and held okay yeah and this that's is smart. helpful for that kiddo that's getting up and down constantly so mm -hmm. you're not pulling them out of a stroller or a car seat so okay. that's their snug okay. um going through our last two this is by Upseat. okay uh, so Upseat's definitely one of those names a lot of us have heard of and and have seen for years in the baby category this is one of their floor and booster seats but this is their new colorway so oh. you'd mentioned kind of loving some of these colors. Yes, the neutral tone. Exactly. So wait, this is a booster seat for what? The floor or for a chair? Um, so for? Yes, a so floor or chair. Okay. And the nice thing is it comes with a tray, a removable tray, which I oh. snuck in here. So this removable tray attaches okay. and then also has some little kind of like seat enclosures, little belts mm. in here to keep them secure. Right. But really helps baby with a good upright position, the especially posture. when they're in those those kind of modes of, you know, still being not able to hold themselves yeah. upright. And then our last product, which we're loving, this is by Petunia Pickle so Bottom. Good. And this is their sink diaper backpack. Now this is coming with 12 different pockets. You can carry everything you wow. can possibly think of in yeah. here. So it also has a diaper changing pad and um, will also fit your laptop in here. So really? lots of great yeah. little enclosures in this, but we're absolutely loving this. Here's that pad too. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Lots Easy of, breezy. Lots and lots yeah. of great stuff in here. So this is Love by that. Petunia Pickle Bottom. I mean, you just pulled out a whole food tray. So. I know. <laughs> exactly. It fits everything. Fit. Oh, my goodness. I love it. So people can actually learn more about these products yes. and other things that you all have to offer on your website. So give us just a little overview in case this is someone's first time hearing about the City Moms. Yeah. Tell us about your website. Oh, yeah. So the City Moms, we're a lifestyle media brand for moms and parents everywhere. So pop over to our website. We have all of the best new baby products for the year and lots of other tips to help get your spring moving along. So mm -hmm. definitely come and visit us there or on social. Yeah, and they can join the community of City Moms. Yes, free <laughs> membership. So yes. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Janine, thank you. for bringing in these products. Absolutely. We'll thank see you, you next time. <laughs> And if you would like more information about the City Moms, we'll have their website listed below, and I'll see you after the break. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. This segment sponsored by Lasses. Lasses is a fourth generation locally owned family convenience store. They have 35 locations serving the Fort Wayne and surrounding communities. And here to discuss their Loving Thy Neighbor initiative and partnership with the Fort Wayne Zoo is Stephanie Lasses, COO, Brittany Lasses, Director of Human Resources, and Rick, the Fort Wayne Zoo Executive Director. Good morning. Good Hi. morning. How are you guys doing? Good, Wonderful. thanks for having us. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm excited to learn about this partnership and just how you all continue to grow in our community. I know Lasses is celebrating 100 years next year, next right? Next year, yes. Yes, so give us an overview of what you all are about and how you are really just amplifying your business in this next year. So our, our goal is just to serve every customer well every single day uh, throughout Northeast Indiana and Northwest Ohio. We are on a growth pattern too, so that's very exciting. And we're looking forward to welcoming in our fourth gen leadership down the road. So mm -hmm. that's what we do every day. We do have a Love Thy Neighbor initiative where we serve our communities in a manner of uh, financial support, uh, advertisement, promotion. We just try to highlight those that are local to the communities that we're serving mm -hmm. and make sure that they have great presence throughout 
uh, the different communities. Right, that's great. And I know that you all are partnering with the zoo on this initiative, which is great. So before I learn more about what you have going on with the zoo, <laughs> Brittany, I wanted to learn what started this partnership? Why did you decide to choose the zoo as one of your first fundraising events for this year? So we um, are always looking at ideas and uh, community partners that resonate well with all of our team members and all of our customers. Mm -hmm. And the zoo obviously serves all the communities um, where we have stores. So mm -hmm. it's really a good uh, fundraiser that our team um, resonates with and is really excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, we remember the Scots um, when they mm -hmm. used to support mm -hmm. the zoo and run the zoo days. And we thought, well, that's kind of a gap um, mm -hmm. to be filled since uh, Scott's and Kroger's no longer doing that, so mm. maybe this is something that we can support with. Mm -hmm. That's great. And of course, everyone loves the zoo, <laughs> and it's such a popular place, especially for the kids. And there's so much that you all really provide of value to our community. So what's happening at the zoo right now? Oh my gosh, there's so much happening at the zoo. We're getting ready for our 60th season, and so we officially open every day on the 27th. Mm -hmm. And uh, boy, we've got some new exhibits that are going to be available for our guests to see, uh, some new animals that will be available for our guests to see. Um, but I just have to say I'm just so excited about this partnership because a lot of people don't know that the zoo doesn't receive any taxpayer support. So we're oh, one of 10 zoos wow. in the country that doesn't receive any support from the government. Mm. And that means we rely on admission dollars and sponsorships. And having the community rally with Lassus is so important and meaningful to us to help uh, cover our costs. Well, that's so great that you'll be able to receive these funds for the zoo. So how will the money be used? Oh, that's a great question. So there's a couple things that we're doing at the zoo that's new this year, our, our new Coastal Cove exhibit. So that's refurbishing our sea lion exhibit. So we're redoing all the rock work. Wow. Uh, we're making the area look completely different. We're adding a new sunning beach for the animals, but we're also adding another species. So right now we have sea lions, mm -hmm. but we're going to add harbor seals. So okay. Coastal Cove is one of our new projects. It will open this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, also this year we're adding Wild Wednesdays and Lassus is a partner with us for Wild right. Wednesdays and what that is is uh, we heard guests say that they wanted to come to the zoo after work and mm -hmm. with, you, with closing at 6 p.m. that's not easy to do. Yeah. So on Wild Wednesdays in May, June, and July we'll close at 8 p.m. Okay. so families can come and enjoy the zoo. Yes. So again, thank you to Lassus for helping make that happen. Yeah, that is so awesome. And Stephanie, what goes into putting together an event like this? So we have three a year and we try to, as Brittany said, we try to encompass all the communities that we serve every day so that it resonates. Yeah. And so um, we, the, the zoo is our first initiative uh, <laughs> this year. And uh, the fourth one, we leave just to serve our customers. So mm -hmm. we try to keep a temperament where we're not always asking for money so that when we do go out and we do ask for support, that the customers are in and they're extremely invested, which we've, we're not done yet, but it's a very <laughs> successful promotion. Okay. So we have coin boxes at the register. Mm -hmm. You can donate at the pin pad where you pay if you use a card. Mm -hmm. And then you can also donate at the pump. So we have a lot okay. of opportunities. Wow and access points. Yes, and how will the funds be used? How will they be dispersed and distributed as you collect them? Um, so we wait until the end of the program and then we will um, get a check directly to the zoo. And they're not oh, telling wow. me how they're doing. I'm hearing things like it's going really well, but <laughs> yeah. they're not telling me any numbers. So I can't oh, wait for that, so this that will big be a check big presentation. Reveal. Oh, that is it's great. It's a big number. Our oh, customers yes. have really come together and um, that spare change is making a big difference. So yeah. that 17 cents here and there that you're rounding up, mm -hmm. uh, it makes a really big difference and, and we're seeing that in the numbers. And it's so meaningful to the zoo. I mean, the, we can help pay for animal food. We yeah. can help pay for tools that the keepers need to take care of the animals. Uh, we can help pay for our education programs. So we really do thank you guys and the entire community for supporting the zoo. Yeah. The goal is a big check with a big number. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the 35 stores I hear are 
are participating, so yeah. that's fantastic. That is. Yeah. So great. That is awesome. And last is it's just it's just such an amazing store. Every time I go in, it's always clean and crisp. And you can tell your employees really take really good care of the property. I'm and happy so, to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Every so good. <laughs> so good. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing about this initiative and this event. And congratulations on being the recipient yes, thank of you. their Loving Thy Neighbor campaign. We're thrilled. Yes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And if you would like more information about LASSES, we'll have their website listed below so you can learn how you can support this initiative. And I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by LASSES. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Hey guys, welcome to Money Monday, where we provide you with holistic financial information and advice from Foster Financial. And of course, joining me today is Caleb Doan, their Vice President. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so we are matching yeah, again. We, we got a little light pink yeah, happening. Yeah, didn't even plan it. <laughs> I know, I love it. Okay, so we've been discussing fixed indexed annuities, right, mm -hmm. over the last week. And I know there's more to share today, but can you first start off by giving us a highlight of what we've discussed so far? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I mean, these are, are really commonplace investments. It's, it's pretty often that people will come into our office and we'll see that they have a fixed index annuity mm -hmm. in their portfolio. But the odd thing is, at the same time, they're pretty complex investments. Okay. And so there's a lot of people that maybe don't fully understand how they actually work, right. even if they have one. Mm. And so I thought it was kind of good to dedicate a couple weeks to going over some of the main features. Yeah. And so we talked a little bit last time about income riders that mm -hmm. can be attached right. to these annuities. It basically allows you to withdraw a certain amount every single year. And even if the account value goes to zero, mm -hmm. you're still allowed to continue withdrawing money. The insurance company still pays you a certain amount every single year. Today, I kind of wanted to focus on how the investments actually go up mm -hmm. with the market. Okay. Because it's not just like investing in the S&P 500, let's say, uh -huh. where if you just invest outside of a fixed index annuity, if the S&P goes up, you go up. If it goes down, you go down. That's not the case with the fixed index mm -hmm. annuities. The two first words there, fixed and indexed. Right. Index tells you it can track a certain index mm -hmm. like the S&P 500. But the fixed part tells you it's protected on the downside. And so if you, know, you invest in this and you track the S&P 500, if the S&P goes down 20%, mm -hmm. you don't go down anything, mm. which is a nice feature, right? It's, it's kind of a piece that makes these a little bit more conservative. Yes. And so just on a basic level, how would you describe what a fixed income annuity is in case someone's hearing that word for the first time? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for the very first time, this is a very conservative investment that you can put money into. Generally, people invest in these to mitigate the risk of outliving your investment savings. Okay. So it gives you a certain income every single year if you're taking income from these. And even if the account value goes to zero, you still get to take money from them. And this is not a pension where it's like money that your employer is giving you. This right. is your own retirement contributions yeah. into your annuity. And But the fact is you have the option to put it on this fixed plan mm -hmm. to allow for it to be distributed over time? Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. I mean, sometimes people think about them as like your own private pension plan. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't get one through work, but yeah. you can allocate some of your retirement savings to a fixed indexed annuity. Okay. Um, so there's that, that downside protection that we yeah. talked about. But then the question is, hey, I'm getting that nice benefit of it not going down. Mm -hmm. And as always, benefits come at a cost, yeah. right? And so mm -hmm. the cost is you don't fully get to participate when the stock market goes up. Mm -hmm. And so if you're you know, invested in the S&P 500 index within your, your annuity, mm -hmm. there are usually a couple different what they'd call crediting strategies to determine how much you get to go up if the S&P goes up. Okay. And so the main three are there's a cap, mm -hmm. there can be a spread, or there can be a participation rate. Mm -hmm. And they all work a little bit differently. Um, a cap, really easy to think about, it just caps how high you can go up. Mm -hmm. So it'll say, hey, you get to go up with the S&P 500, but you're capped at 6%. Mm -hmm. So if S&P goes up 10, you only go up 6. If S&P goes up 5, you go up the full 5 because mm -hmm. you're underneath that cap. Mm -hmm. 
but you know you don't get to participate fully when the market goes up. Yeah. Then there's participation rates. You get to go up a certain percentage of whatever mm -hmm. it goes up. So you get to go up one third or whatever of the S and P. So if it goes up ten percent, you go up one third of that or three point three three percent. Right. And then the last one is is a spread. And so it's basically whatever the S and P goes up you go up whatever that does minus the spread. Okay. So if the spread is you know 5%, S&P goes up 10, you only go up five. Okay. So there are all these different kind of crediting options and mm -hmm. typically your agent gets to choose or your advisor gets to choose every okay. single year, hey, what crediting option are we gonna choose this time around? And okay, you, so you, you get can to change, change that. it. Okay, that's yeah. nice. You, you can change it, see what works. And of course, as you said, some options are more conservative, some mm -hmm. you can play with a little bit more. And so how would someone go about choosing this? I mean, even as they discuss it with you, or rather if the mm -hmm. advisor chooses it, how do you go about doing that? <laughs> yeah, so usually you get, to, you get to change your sort of decision once a year on okay. your contract anniversary date. And for any of our clients who have these annuities, we get information sent to us mm -hmm. that says, hey, you know, they're at their contract anniversary mm -hmm. and we have reminders set in our system and everything. And you have a 15 or 20 day window yeah. that you get to go in and change that. We do all of that on behalf of our clients. So, uh -huh. you know, we look what we expect to happen in the market and that can determine which type of crediting strategy that we use. Wow. But it's important to have an advisor who's kind of mm -hmm. updating those every single year because yeah. if it doesn't get updated, it just stays where it's at mm -hmm. and that might not be, you know, optimal. Yeah, you can lose out on your investment mm -hmm. opportunities. Absolutely. Well, great. Well, so much good information. Again, thank you so much, Caleb. Yeah, absolutely. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> and if you'd like more information about Foster Financial, we'll have their website and phone number listed below. Give them a call to check out your options and I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, you can always catch up on episodes and segments of Living Local 15 by going to wayne.com. And I'll leave you with this. Hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear. If we believe that tomorrow will be better, we can bear the hardship of today. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Content segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.